welcome to this video. This video is going to focus on the latest rumors that have come out about HomeKit in iOS 14. These include facial recognition, night mode, and improvements to our Apple TV works. Hi, welcome back to HomeKit Authority, and my name is John. On this channel, we focus on everything that's HomeKit, news reviews, and tutorials. So if you're not already a subscriber, then hit the subscribe button, also the like button. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to like it. If you wanna get involved in the comments, then leave a comment below. So this report originally comes from 9to5Mac that talks about features that are coming to HomeKit in iOS 14. This includes new facial recognition features, night shift, and some improvements to Apple TV. So whilst iOS 14 is not expected to arrive until June for developers and then later in the year for normal consumers, there's already rumors that are starting to service starting with the light improvements that will be coming with iOS 14 for HomeKit. This is a feature that is expected to be brought that will automatically change the color temperature depending on the time of day. Now, 9to5Mac are calling this night shift mode for HomeKit. However, I think it should be called something like light shift. Now, this is something that will automatically, based on the time of day, adjust the light temperature. So that would hopefully give users less eye strain when they've got lights in their home and also to be able to change the uh, mood lighting depending on the time of day. Now this is already available in some HomeKit products such as LifeFX, however bringing this native to HomeKit support will enable other products to have this feature. Next up is improvements to HomeKit cameras through facial recognition. So as part of iOS 13 that was released last year, Apple brought HomeKit Secure Video. Anyone that uses HomeKit Secure Video will be aware that the cameras currently detect things like people, cars, motion and animals. Now Apple are looking to expand this to use facial recognition to detect people when they are approaching your home or inside your home if you've got an indoor camera. It's also rumored that HomeKit will send you notifications when known people are in view of the camera. Now this is similar to Netimo's cameras such as a smart indoor camera or the outdoor camera, which I've reviewed both and there's links in the description below. So the addition of this will be a great feature especially for people that use HomeKit Secure Video and want to keep all their recordings private and privacy is key to them. So Apple adding this feature will certainly be a great thing for HomeKit in iOS 14. The last feature expected as part of this HomeKit update is a permanent output feed for Apple TVs. This will mean the user could select the HomePod pair and have it permanently connected to an Apple TV without having to connect it via AirPlay 2 every single time they want to share the audio with those HomePods. And whilst all these features are very much rumors at this moment in time, they certainly come from a credible source and it's certainly promising to see that Apple are looking to expand expand HomeKit and give it more capabilities. So that is great news for the HomeKit community and anyone that wants to get into HomeKit in the future. Of course, these are only rumors right now and there is lots more that the HomeKit community are probably wanting to see, such as improvements to the HomeKit icons, some more icons for various different devices, be able to switch things out. Also improvements to scenes and automations. This is something that currently can be achieved by third party apps. So Apple may take some of the features that are featured in those apps and include them within HomeKit. I'm also hoping they will support more devices such as vacuum cleaners and things like that to improve and expand the HomeKit uh, device range. Now, obviously these are just rumors at this moment in time and Apple are still yet to unveil it and that'll happen in June of this year. But Apple have been promising and showing real commitments to HomeKit. So we should see some really great features coming to the HomeKit community to expand their smart home platform. So guys, what do you think to these rumors? What do you think to these features? What else would you like to see within HomeKit in iOS 14? Leave it in the comment sections below. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and also like this video and and give it a comment and also if you want to check out the rest of the channel there's other home kit videos that might be useful to you thank you very much i'll speak to you soon